Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll show you how to use Twilio to send SMS for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're looking for a way for you to send SMS to different people or to your customers, well, Twilio here can help you a lot. But first thing that we need to do here is we need to first learn more about Twilio. So Twilio is a cloud communication platform that provides a set of APIs, application programming interfaces, for building and integrating voice, messaging, and video capabilities into web and mobile application. One of its prominent services is SMS, or short message service, allowing the developers to send and receive text messages programmatically. With Twilio, developers can incorporate communication features like voice calls, video calls, and SMS messaging into their application without having to build the underlying infrastructure from scratch. This makes it easier for businesses and developers to enhance their application with real-time communication capabilities. Now, in this case, they provide a wide range of uh, key aspects or services that they have. So again, SMS short message services is API enabled. So maybe for voice, video, or chat, or flex, authentication, or IoT, or Internet of Things. Now overall, uh, Twilio's platform is designed to make it easier for developers to add communication features to their applications, improving user engagement and functionality. Now in this case, uh, Twilio is something that's going to be really helpful to you, especially if you want to integrate those uh, your services or features into your applications. Now creating your account here is actually pretty easy. So what you need to do here is you need to open up any browser, go to Twilio.com, and from here you should be able to see their main website. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to start for free. Now, starting for free here is we'll be able to basically try their service here for free, but with limited features. So you'll be only be able to use some small aspect of what they have the they have to offer here. Now, in this case, just click on the start for free at the top right here. And once you click on it, you should be able to basically start creating your account. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you to enter your first name, last name, email address as well as a password for your account here but if you already have a google account you could use that as a means of signing up on the on their platform now in this case i've already used my google account here to sign up but once you've signed up it's also going to ask you to enter your mobile number there just to confirm your you have a working mobile number so once you've entered your mobile number you need to enter your verification code once entered you'll be able to see the login or or the page or the welcome page for Twilio. But first things first, let me just log in into my account. So let's go ahead and click on log in. From here, we need to enter our email address. Now, and here, this is the welcome page for Twilio. So here, it's going to ask you a few questions about yourself. So what do you plan to build with Twilio? So in this case, go ahead and answer whatever applies to you here. So for example, you want to say this is for promotions. So which Twilio product are you here to use? So in this case, we want to use the uh, section here for SMS. So let's choose SMS here. And from here, which best describe your organization? So in this case, maybe you want to say we are a hobbyist or a student. But if you're in business field, make sure you choose business here. Now, how do you want to build with Twilio? So with code, which in this case, you will be able to access some codes in it. With minimal code here, but if you're not that good with coding, so with minimal code here or with no code at all. So maybe you want to use it with no code here, uh, code at all. And what is your goal today? So in this case, maybe we want to say we want to explore what my team can build. And from here, just click on the option here that says get started with Twilio. Now in this case, it's going to load up our console here. So let's just wait for it to load up. But once it loads up, you should be able to see different products. So in this case, let's just click on next here. And from here, click on next. So this is going to be the onboarding process here. What are the things that you could do here on their dashboard? So in this case, it's going to be a switch between your Twilio accounts if you want to and display a tour contact support and a lot more. Now in this case, this is going to be the onboarding process. So in this case, you'll be able to view a few things here. Like for example, getting a number here. So if you want to get a phone number here, you just click on the get phone number here. 
and from here you should be able to see the next page wherein you'll be able to buy a phone number for yourself in this case is the phone number that i got but for any succeeding phone numbers that you'll be getting there's going to be a fee on it i'll be showing you how to get yours on the left section panel here but for now let's go ahead and go to the next page here and from here we are able to try out the sms so in this case you have the user preview app here connect to you with an app or customize with studio now in this case if you want to start using a, a pre-built app just click on start here but if you want to view next which in this case this is their documentation now documentations is something really really helpful here because if you're planning to integrate this in your application they have concise steps on how to do that exactly now here we also have the next page where in this case this is the invite and upgrade so in this case you'll be able to upgrade your account and invite teammates into your projects now on the left section here we have the phone numbers now phone numbers we have manage port and host and regul regulatory compliance under manage we have active numbers which in this case this is going to be the active numbers that we have like what i said before if you want to add a new number click on buy number at the top right here and you'll be able to start buying your phone number but they have a specific fee if you want to buy them now like some known phone numbers actually has a 15 dollar per month fee if you want to buy them you also have the one dollar fee here depends on their current offers as of this moment so currently they have a lot so currently monthly fee is only one dollar a month so if you want to buy those you could go ahead now also we have the section here for verify caller ids which in this case you'll be able to uh, verify your caller number in this case if you want to add new one just click on add call new caller no uh, caller ID here country the number the extension and SMS here now in this case you also have the toy ML apps here if you want to use those and from here we also have the messaging section now in this case how do we actually start using their application or their platform well it's pretty easy what we need to do is we need to go to the explore products section here and under explore products we need to look for the API section so in this case, just scroll down a bit until you see API here. So it's going to be around the section here. So let's just wait for it. So if you don't see API here, you could also use the messaging option. So let's go ahead and use messaging here. Now under messaging, as you can see, we have the option to try SMS. So if you also want to view their resources here, they have the quick start here. So get started with messaging, the API documents, and the pricing for messaging costs. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the Try SMS here. Now, in the next page, you should be able to start setting up your uh, message here or SMS. Now, we have the virtual phone here, which in this case, you'll be able to view the message that you'll be sending here as well as the API view if you want to view the API for that specific uh, request. Now, in this case, we want to view the virtual phone here. And from here, we need to choose our uh, settings here. So, in this case, we are using a virtual phone number here. And we also have the from phone number so just choose this one so in this case we want to choose phone number here and we want to choose the phone number here as a phone number that we used or we've uh, actually got now in this case we have the send message here so in this case what we need to do next is we need to basically enter our message here so there are actually two options here so send message from C uh, cli or app or send message from to your console so we'll be using the console here just to give you an example so in this case we could go ahead and just type in the following so i want to say hi this is a sample message and from here we could go ahead and click on send test message here and we should be able to see the sample that we got here so just wait for it to pop up now if you want to view your code resources here just click on code resources here and you'll be able to see the sample uh like build prototype try explore api explorer and in this case if you want to view uh change your view here api view here you can go ahead and view that as you can see it is our api but yeah so that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video